All right, people, this is Avi Oziel here again on the gold, silver, copper, precious metal journey. Now, what you see in front of you here is the basic setup for smelting. We're talking about melting or casting your own metal, basically going to take all of the different copper, silver, or gold that you've recovered from whatever source and turn it into ingots where you basically want to have fine bullion um, if you take a look here we have on the left this is called a torch and as you can see here this is a torch head and this is a very um, expensive torch actually it's something that's not your normal propane torch this is map gas map gas is is pretty uh, uh, it's a lot hotter than propane and if you notice here you have an oxygen tank next to it now in order to melt copper you have to have at least 2000 degrees Fahrenheit so if you want to get to at least 1900 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit you're gonna have to use a oxy map combination torch um, if you just buy a propane torch or even if you just use a regular map gas torch you're not gonna get to the right temperature so it's very important that you get a torch that has both the oxygen and the map gas now just a quick introduction here something very important when you do light your oxygen never turn the oxygen on first always light your map gas first I repeat for all those people who have not done this before you're gonna have a couple of cylinders here to open up never touch this one first you're always gonna light release the map gas valve very slowly and you're gonna take your striker at a 45 degree angle and give it a little spark that will turn it on once this is turned on at a very low flame then you can introduce the oxygen and for whatever reason if it does go out and you have the oxygen on always turn the oxygen off first and then turn off your map gas so I'll just repeat that when you are lighting your torch never turn on the oxygen first always slightly open the valve for the map gas light it and after it's lit you can introduce the oxygen very slowly okay keep that in mind so that's the first thing you can buy a kit like this for about a hundred bucks a Canadian tire the next thing you're going to have to get where you can get this at a place called Lacey Lacey tool Lacey and company Lacey's jewelry they're located at uh, Queen Street West just there by Queen and Young a little bit West I think it's about 47 Queen Street West so there I picked up something called borax borax is something that's used to put in the crucible you can see this white stuff basically this is a crucible this is what is containing the metal that you, you're going to um, melt or braze or whatever so basically I have put some copper in here I put some borax inside so it prevents it from oxidizing as well as gets rid of all the impurities so when you go to Lacey and company you're gonna wanna pick up one of these things it's about 15 bucks it's a crucible made of graphite or whatever they have some made of iron this basically is like a cup you melt your metal and then you pour it out the next thing you're gonna wanna get is a graphite mold basically this right here is where you pour your metal into the mold after it's melted now the next thing you want to get from Lacey or wherever is something called a tongs not the tongs on the women I know you all like that but this is a different kind of tongs you grab it on the side like so and you can pour it once it's molten hot remember always use a pair of gloves we're talking about molten hot metal at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit which is very very hot this stuff can burn your hands can burn your eyes make sure you get a pair of safety glasses so this is basically the simple setup I'll leave this video to you nice and sweet nice and short to the point basically if you want to melt 
any kind of copper, gold, or silver, I recommend getting a oxygen map gas torch. Don't get the propane. Don't get the map alone. Get the dual. Okay, that way you have the ability to reach higher temperatures. If you're just going to use regular propane, you're never going to melt your copper or your gold or silver. You're just going to be sitting there and wasting propane. The next thing you want is your graphite mold. After that, you're going to want to get your crucible. You're going to want to get a pair of tongs to lift this crucible so you can pour your metal into the graphite mold. You're going to want to get a pair of gloves that's heat resistant and of course you're going to want to get some glasses and to make sure that everything is nice and clean inside your crucible you're going to want to get borax another suggestion i may make if you are melting copper you're going to want to get something called vaseline petroleum jelly and that will be basically put inside your graphite mold that way it doesn't stick so um, basically you put your, your Vaseline inside, you just rub the sides and the bottom, put the borax inside here, turn on your gas torch. Remember, never turn the oxygen on first. Always begin with your map gas. Once you're lit, then slightly introduce your oxygen flame. Proceed by lighting your crucible after five or six minutes until it's molten hot after 2000 degrees Celsius, sorry Fahrenheit. You're going to take your tongs, you're going to pour the crucible inside here and then you're going to get your metal. After that's done, you're going to take this and you're going to want to flip it over. You're going to want to put it into some kind of bucket of water, let it cool and you got your mold. Okay guys, so hope you enjoyed this video and this is the introductory kit that you will need in order to melt or cast any kind of metal i.e. copper, silver, gold, platinum, or aluminum, or even steel, or whatever else you have in mind, brass, or whatnot. Okay, so Avi Oziel signing out, and hope you enjoyed my video. And if you have any questions, you can email me at avioziel.goldrecovery at gmail.com. If not, just leave a message on the YouTube channel, and see ya.